Welcome to the first Art Fight class trial, everyone! In this trial, you will all be debating to figure out who killed our beloved Honeycrisp. If you succeed in being able to find the culprit, only they will be punished! If not, everyone but the culprit will get punished. Sound good? Good! You may all begin! Uh, well, begin where? What do we even do? Well, we must find a place to start, of course. Any ideas? Accusations? I accuse Boom! What? Little old me? I would never kill anyone! You threatened to kill someone just yesterday. Aw, that was just a little goof. A little silly like me would never actually kill someone. Likely story. I still can't believe someone killed poor Honeycrisp. She was so nice and she made the best apple pies. That's for sure. I miss her already. Chillax, everyone. Maybe if we ask the killer to come out, they'll confess. Then we can go back and I can go take a nap. I don't think the killer will fall for that, Puff. Correct. Don't waste our time, you little koi fish cat thing. We need to discuss who the culprit could be. Oh, I have a better idea! How about we try to make sure everyone is on the same page about the murder? Like, make sure everyone knows about how Honeycrisp died. Great idea, Denta! Does everyone else agree to doing this? I personally think it's a splendid idea. Sounds good to me! Nothing wrong with making sure everyone knows the same things. Honeycrisp's body was found inside the kitchen. From what the civil tech file said, the cause of death was suffocation. It seemed as if Honeycrisp had been choked and strangled to death. What an awful way to go. One of Honeycrisp's oven mitts was found right beside her body, stained with what seemed like her own blood. The first three people to find the body were me, Buddy, and Grant. Making this clear due to the first three witness rule. That poor girl. She was snuck up on and strangled to death. And here we are risking our own lives to figure out who did it. Whoever did this needs to pay. Honeycrisp's body was found inside the kitchen. From what the silly tech of vials said, the cause of death was suffocation. It seemed as if Honeycrisp had been choked and strangled to death. What an awful way to go. One of Honeycrisp's oven mitts was found right beside her body, stained with what seemed like her own blood. The first three people to find the body were me, Buddy, and Grant. Making this clear due to the first three witness rule. That poor girl. She was snuck up on and was strangled to death. No, that's wrong! Actually, Mike, Honeycrisp couldn't have been strangled from behind. Really? Why not? because of the position of the marks on her neck. If you look closely, you can see the thumb marks are on the front of her throat. If she had been strangled from behind, they would be on the back of her neck. Golly, I never would have noticed that myself. Good eye, Lottle. That's nice to know, but how does the info help us? It means Honeycrisp had the chance to fight back, you silly spider! And fight back she did! There was blood! Everywhere! All over the crime scene! On Honeycrisp! And on the floor! On the... 
We know, Misha. We were all there. I'm proud of Miss Honeycrisp. I didn't take her for the fighting type. I'm glad I was wrong. So, uh, what should we discuss now? Nothing, because this video is about to end. Wait, that's it? We could just leave the trial room? Sweet. Now I can go take my nap. Wait, then who killed Honeycrisp? Well, the killer was a dummy and left a crucial piece of evidence at the crime scene. Take a very close look at it and you'll know who it was. I'm just thrilled none of us will be executed. I believe it's time we bring this video to a close. Goodbye, dear viewers. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Huh? What? Who are you talking to?